Hey guys, three's a charm. This is going to be the third tutorial I'm uploading today. Poinsettia on Santorini. Now you can do this on any surface you want, any kind of stone you want, um, or not stone. You can do it on the side of a mug. It's up to you. Um, I am doing my version of a poinsettia. A poinsettia. Um, you know I probably will pronounce things wrong. I call it a poinsettia. Um, some people say poinsettia. I'm not going to say it that way. <laughs> and this is just the way I do it. You might not do it this way. Um, but I promise you, you'll think this is fantastic when it's done. I am going to be using some nail uh, gel nail polish. I will show you that process a little bit later. But just so that you have a heads up, I incorporate lots of stuff into my my stonework, my painted stones, um, so it's not just paint that I use, and I'm sure you've seen that if you've been on my channel for any length of time. So I just want to give a quick shout out to everybody who's subscribing to me. Thank you so much for joining my rock family. I love you. Make sure you hit the bell on your subscription. Uh, if you've subscribed, you have the option to also uh, hit the little bell, which then gives you notifications for every single time I upload anything to my YouTube channel. You will get notified right away. That way, you if you're sitting there bored watching uh, Dr. Phil, not that Dr. Phil is boring, but if you're just sitting there and you have nothing to do, you could get an email or a notification that I just posted three tutorials in one day. So don't forget to hit that bell. I um, am just doing one or two layers of the red petals for my poinsettia. Then I add a little bit of a black outline because I want it to kind of look shaded underneath those top petals, the smaller ones. Now poinsettias, ha they look like leaves, only they're red. <laughs> and their petals look very similar to their leaves, only the leaves are green. But they have like similar veins through them. They look like leaves. So we're going to try and do that today. So as you can see, um, now I am using a nice Christmas red for my poinsettia. Um, but I am going to use a little bit of orange and a little bit of coral to lighten up some of the leaves once I'm done doing this shading part. So basically I just want um, in between those smaller petals to be dark. So I am using black while it's wet on top of the red and I'm using a small blending brush to blend it in. It does look a mess right now, but it's all going to come together because I'm gonna use a sponge now and I'm gonna go in and blend it all together and make it look like, a, like it's just shaded underneath like it looks like those smaller uh, leaves or petals sorry are lifted up above that second set of petals that's what I'm going for so if it doesn't look like that I'm sorry <laughs> but that's the look I'm going for and I'm new at this it's my first time doing one of these Christmas flowers but it's gonna look awesome I just know it I just know it so I wasn't happy with the color. I wanted to kind of orange them up a little bit, kind of lighten up portions of the petals. So I'm adding a little bit of coral and then I go over top in some areas with a little bit of pumpkin orange, but very, very small amount. And I'm blending it in while it's still wet so that it's not just big blotches of coral or big blotches of orange. And I'm blending it all while it's still wet. It will all come together even if it doesn't look like it will. You can see a big ring on this paper from my coffee cup. <laughs> oh, it's been a long month so far, I tell you. I lost my engagement ring like a week ago and I've been crying about it ever since. We're packing. Um, it's Christmas. Like we're, it's, we're struggling to get in the Christmas spirit because all of our stuff is in boxes <laughs> and Oh, it just doesn't, this is just not a normal, a, a normal holiday season. 
my numbers are way down um, in my shop and, and on YouTube because I'm so busy right now. So I just want to say for those of you who are still here waiting for me, I love you. Thank you so much for being patient and understanding that even though um, I do this, I still have a lot of other stuff going down on the outside of this. So I know a lot of you understand that and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now I'm adding glitter. Now that the red and coral and orange is all blended together and dry and I've outlined everything with black, um, I am now adding a red uh, nail glitter, which is listed in the description. I purchased it on Amazon. I got like like five or seven colors or something, and one of them is this red. So I always think of Christmas flowers or poinsettias as being glittery. Um, they need glitter. These things need glitter. So I am putting glitter on them. You don't have to. But this does really give it some depth. It really changes it a lot. So I'm just adding, I'm not going all over, just, just trying to stay um, on the inner portions of each petal. And uh, you can keep that glitter in, like in one place by adding some sealant over top, like a DuraClear varnish or a Mod Podge. Um, just to hold the glitter in place until you seal it. So I'm using a darker berry wine color to give these petals their veins. Now, like I said, they resemble leaves, only they're red. They look just like their leaves, only they're red. So I'm going to just gently, very, very lightly, not too much paint on my paintbrush. Don't want it to be globby. Um, and it's hard to see because of all that glitter, but I promise you, um, once I resin it, you will be able to see every detail. So I'm making sure the lines are very, very fine, like the lines that you see in a poinsettia flower. That is so beautiful. Who doesn't want this kind of decoration out on their mantle or in their, on their, their dinner table for display at Christmas? Oh my goodness. This is going to look beautiful. And like I said, you don't have to do it on a Santorini stone. Um, you can do it on any kind of stone. Just make sure that you start off with a nice light background. Um, or you can do it on the, the original color of the stone as well. And I'm sure it will pop off of it like crazy with these colors and this glitter. It will just look amazing. So now I'm just gonna incorporate three leaves. They're going to be uh, done in three different shades of green. I'm starting off with like a classic green. And like I said, they look just like the petals, only they're green. So I'm gonna lighten the center of the petals just like I did with, or the, I'm gonna lighten the center of the leaves. I got a hair in there. <laughs> wait for it <laughs> um, so I'm going to lighten the center of the leaves just like I did with the petals only I'm using green so I'm going to use a lighter green um, bright green and then a lime green as well to lighten the center of the leaves I will add in a lime green shortly but still while the bright green is wet so that it can blend easily and I am just lightening different spots in the leaves, not the whole leaf, just in different areas. Now each one will be different. You can put as many of the green leaves around this as you want. I'm only gonna do three. Um, just gonna kind of stay with the shape of my stone. Just make sure that they are similar to the red ones, only much bigger. I will be doing vein work um, on the leaves as well, just like I did with the red ones, uh, only I'm going to darken my, my green with a little bit of dark brown, and then you'll be able to see the veins a little bit easier. But I'm going to stay away from glitter on the green leaves. Um, I'm just keeping the glitter to the flower por portion of this. And you can hear my 
my cat Max, he is talking right now because someone left him down here with me while I'm recording a boring tutorial and it's no fun for him. <laughs> so he's going to be a little bit chatty for the next few minutes. I apologize for that. It is not easy having uh, no sounds during <laughs> one of my videos. I have way too many uh, people in this family. <laughs> I have way, way too many family members in this house, I should say, because they're not all people, but they are all family. So as you can see, all of my leaves are lightened a little bit, just a little bit. It's way more noticeable uh, once I've sealed it with resin. You can see all the depth and all of the, all of the details that I've added that you might not be able to see very well right now. Um, they get magnified quite a bit when you put resin on them. So this is something that you are going to enjoy. Now you can see I am outlining it all with that dark green as well. And then I'm also going to outline it with the black. Um, I am going to make it look like some of the leaves are curled up a little bit. Um, just to give it a little bit more detail, I guess you can say. The leaves almost look soft because I used a sponge on them. Same with the petals. They have like a nice soft texture to them. You can't see any brush strokes, no streaks. Um, and it's, it's covered the stone really nicely, especially since we're working on a white stone. So it's a beautiful, um, beautiful bright background to start with anyway. So it really boosts that color. But you'll see everything once I resin. It changes everything. Uh, I did mention at the beginning of the video that I was going to be using a nail polish, a gel polish that needs to be cured with a lamp. So if you don't have this kind of stuff, it's okay. Just find red glitter paint. You can find folk art glitter paint. Um, and just put it along the edges of all your red petals. Um, I will show you how I do it with my nail polish, but it's an optional thing. It's not something that you have to go out and purchase. I'm not trying to force anybody to go out and buy this stuff. Um, I'm just showing you what I'm doing to make my flower. So um, it's an optional thing. It's completely up to you what you do, but you might really fall in love when you see the end result. Um, I just love incorporating, like I said, a lot of different things into my artwork. I don't just stick with paint. I like glitter and chunky glitter and crystals and all sorts of stuff, as you've probably seen throughout all of my videos. So I did do like a thicker green outline on some of the edges of these leaves to make them look a little bit like they're curled up at the side. Now I'm using a bright lime green to do the little buds in the center of the poinsettia, which while they're still wet, I'm adding a little bit of red in only a couple of them. So it looks like there's new petals that are going to be blooming, um, but they haven't bloomed yet. And you'll see that now I'm only putting a little bit of red on a couple of them, not all of them, not all of them, and not all the same size dots. I want it to look as natural as possible. Now, if that doesn't look similar to a poinsettia, there is something wrong with me. Because <laughs> I really like this. I think it looks really very Christmassy, very holiday season-esque. So here's my nail glitter. It is gel nail polish. It's a, like a ruby glitter, like Dorothy slippers. Um, and I'm just outlining right before the black. And then I do need a UV lamp. Um, LED lamp to dry that properly before I seal it with resin um, and with resin it's just like like ruby slippers all over the place like it's beautiful I cannot express this to you anymore um, so like I said it's optional but you might fall in love I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm not sorry <laughs> 
Okay, so you're going to see it resin very, very soon. But first, why not some gold? I want to add gold to the veins very, very lightly, not big, thicky globs or thicky, um, not big, thick globs, just very lightly brush the paint over top. Don't hide the dark green, just lightly accent it with gold. That's the best way for me to describe it. Don't hide it, just lightly accent the veins with a little bit of gold and it changes it once again. I just didn't want to have something so beautiful like this, so Christmassy and not have gold go with my glitter. <laughs> so I stayed away from having glitter on the leaves, but I'm adding gold. So, so there, it looks beautiful. And like I said, on any surface, it could be a mug, it could be a tile, it could be a patio stone, it could be a t-shirt for all I know. Um, you can paint this anywhere. It doesn't have to be on this beautiful Santorini stone. But if you do like the Santorini stone, there's a link in the description where you can purchase them in the States. Um, and uh, yeah, click on the button. There you go. I'm not forcing you to fall in love, but I bet you are. I bet it's happening right now. You know those cartoons where people have hearts coming from their eyes? That's what's happening to you right now. <laughs> Thank you guys. You know I love you. I hope you all have an amazing holiday season. And uh, yeah, I always cut myself off. So I wanted to make sure I said that before all this glitter and shine stopped. Um, thank you for subscribing. If you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment. That helps me out when you comment and share. So I love you guys. Take care of yourself while I take care of me and mine and keep painting. I will be back. Love you. Mwah.